Scary footage will make you anxious. Okay. And I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see some of the most mysterious videos going around the internet. So smash that subscribe button right now and get ready for some creepy content. Just like this. Ah, uh, hit me. This creepy footage was uploaded to Facebook by the Eris Journal. It's a snippet taken from a much longer YouTube video by Edel Golden. Filmed in Ballina Island, it shows the 1966 commemorations of Easter Monday in 1916, the day Irish nationalists revolted against British rule in Ireland. As the video begins, we see a group of men working in a cemetery. Uh. But see if you can they spot like anything out of the ordinary. They don't look like they're working. Yes, Jeff. Oh, what the? What is that? If you look, no, bro, that's a, bro, that's a werewolf. That's a werewolf, bro. You can spot anything out of the ordinary. A million percent, that's a werewolf. If you look more closely, a dark, wispy shape suddenly begins to move from left to right throughout the cemetery. If you slow the footage down, its presence becomes even creepier. Looks like it has long, thin arms and appears to be hovering above the ground. What? And nobody sees that, no? Nobody sees that running Whatever towards it. Is, it moves behind the wooden pole in the foreground, eliminating the possibility that it might be dust or a bug on the lens. Uh, oh, yeah, true. One viewer likened the figure to a banshee, wow. a paranormal entity rooted in Irish folklore, often depicted as a female spirit or ghost. Known for her mournful and eerie wails, the banshee is believed to be a harbinger of death, her cries foretelling the impending demise of a family member. Descriptions of her appearance vary, ranging from a beautiful young woman with long flowing hair to a haggard old crone draped in tattered garments. She's typically seen in the countryside near water where I ain't gonna lie. This picture right here, chat, I would. I would. I wouldn't even mind. I wouldn't mind. I ain't gonna lie. She looks <laughs> she looks good here, bro. Her wailing could be heard echoing through the night. She looks good here. Seeing that this footage was filmed in the cemetery, one does wonder if it does indeed show a banshee. Watch the clip one more time Worth and let soul. me know what you think this is in the comments down below. Hey, I've never had a girl chase me before. I might, hey, I might have to fight her. I might have to fight her. Redditor T Always Helps posted this next clip to the platform asking viewers if they thought it shows a ghost. The video is a compilation of footage captured in an unnamed hotel in England where the poster has worked for the last 16 years. No vice. While they admit they don't believe in ghosts, they have heard that the bar, restaurant and kitchen of the hotel are all haunted. Looks like a nice Take bar. Take a look at what the security cameras have captured. Nice that could have been a bad, badly placed glass though. Surely. Oh, wait, no. We see a glass fall from... Maybe she booted the other side of the cabinet. Maybe she booted it like she needed it or something. Behind the bar and smash on the floor. Two curious patrons who must have heard the glass break lean over the barn to see what's happened. That's weird. Next, we see some more strange activity. Bro, these ghosts don't like glasses, mate. <laughs> Maybe it's like Lastly, like we see a yellow caution sign fall over as if pushed by some sort of unseen force. Earthquake? A cleaner begins to search the area for the cause of the disturbance. England is renowned for its historic pubs, many of which are said to be haunted by spirits from the past. Really? Among the eerie goings on in these old buildings, patrons and staff have reported seeing apparitions along with other spectral figures. 
heard disembodied voices and footsteps, and like in the hotel in this video, seen objects moving around and even breaking. Have you ever visited a bar or pub that's said to be haunted? If so, did you witness anything out of the ordinary? Love to hear your stories in the comments down below. I, I think that's just earthquakes right there, bro. Same, Sam. Hearing a voice say something when no one else is around is enough to make the hairs on the back of your neck stand on end. In this video posted to Reddit by user IggyTalls15, we see just such an event unfolding. What is that? What? Oh, it's a dog. It's just, it looks weird because I, of the camera. Such an event unfolding. Listen closely to the audio. The poster believes that at around the 16 second mark, you can hear someone whisper, Mike. Originally, he thought this was one of his children who had walked downstairs. However, when he saw that there was no one around, he ran. The poster goes on to note that it was around 12 a.m. when this occurred and that it was just him and his pets downstairs. The house, originally built in the 1850s, was once home to a crew member who died in the infamous 1917 Halifax explosion. Yo, wouldn't the dogs react? Like, when we see these kind of videos, the dogs are always going crazy. It occurred in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. The tragedy unfolded when the SS Mont Blanc, a French cargo ship laden with explosives, collided with the Norwegian vessel SS Imo. The resulting explosion was cataclysmic, releasing the equivalent energy of roughly 2.9 kilotons of TNT. Oh, shit. It obliterated much of the city, killing approximately 2,000 people and injuring 9,000 more. Yo. The blast also caused a massive shock wave that shattered windows up to 50 miles away and a tsunami that swept over parts of the city. So could the so-called voice heard That's in this mad. clip be that of the crew member who tragically lost their life in the explosion? Have another listen and let me know what you think this is down below. Wait, how am I going to tell you if he was on the boat? I don't know. I don't know the voice of the people on the boat. How am I going to tell you? I don't hear anything. Have a listen and let me know what you think this is down below. Are you ri- Bro, that could have been the washing machine. That don't sound like someone talking. Have another listen. And let me know what you think this is down below. Mike! 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 That's what- It sounds like- Have another listen. And let me know what you think this is down below. Nah, he's just a scared, bro. He's just scared, bro. He's just on edge. That could have been anything. This eerie image was taken on a flip phone back in the late two thousands. The photo uploaded here to the Chilling SK Facebook page has very little other accompanying information, only that it was captured in an unnamed opera house. As you can see, there's a strange yellowish shape just behind the woman in white. Okay. If you look closely, you can even see a face. A face believed by viewers uh. to be that of a baby. So what do you that make of this be, creepy that image? Be light, no? Seeing that it was taken on an old flip phone, the ghostly shape might be the result of poor camera quality. Or it could show a real phantom of the opera. Let me know your take and where you land on this down below. Mm, it does look like a face, but that could be lighting. TikToker hidden on Google Earth is a creator that searches Google Earth for weird and fascinating things. In this clip, we see them zooming in on what appears to be a rural farming location. Once they reach Street View, they then turn the camera to point it skywards. What the fuck? There appears to be a large face staring down from above. What the fuck? I don't see a face, I see a potato. While it's possible that the face is simply a glitch caused by the program stitching together many different images, it's nonetheless a rather creepy discovery. 
With so many photos taken to map the surface of the Earth, it's little wonder that Google's cameras occasionally capture some pretty strange things. I see a potato. This next video was uploaded to TikTok by user Cody Goo Coltacom. It shows something rather unnerving taking place. No, she's just a freak. What's on? What the? F what is she doing? The uploader describes the situation as a possible glitch in the matrix. The woman who seems paused was supposedly motionless for a minute before the camera holder was able to capture this piece of evidence. Ah? Uh -huh. Nah, she's nah, you can she's see just that crazy. The woman appears to suddenly snap out of her state and then continue walking as if nothing's happened. What? Nah, These she's days, just crazy, the term man. glitch in the matrix has become a popular way of describing strange behavior and events that might suggest there's an error in our reality. Similar to an NPC in a video game, behavior like that exhibited by the woman in this video might show a break in the code that dictates their movement patterns. Have you uh, ever seen out. something that fucking suggests out. we might be living in a simulated reality? Yo, listen, 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 chat. I think she's just a freak in this one. I think she's just a bit crazy, you know what I'm saying? But I do think there's a possibility we are a simulation, dude. Because when you break down the human body, we're made of nothing. How is that possible? How are we made of nothing? How are we made of nothing, bro? When you actually look at us and go deep, 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 deep with nothing. How is that possible, bro? How? Make it make sense. We're a simulation. Boom. We're made of cells, but the cells are made of nothing. Literally nothing. It's air. Mainly just air. It's nothing, bro. Look into it. They call me Scientist Lou. Call me Scientist Lou. Look into it, chat. Before we take a look at an eerie photo that's been spreading around Reddit, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there. I'm and a turn detective on all in my post. In my, you know, that way you'll be notified every time we drop our scary full time scientist, videos. part time detective. After receiving this picture from her husband, user Sexy Sadie May Glutes decided to share it on. Say a name again, buddy. Say your name again. Receiving this picture from her husband, user Sexy Sadie May Glutes decided to share it on Reddit. Okay. The photo was supposedly captured by her husband's friend and shows a mysterious faceless figure in their kitchen. What? What? What makes this sighting even creepier is that the friend claims to have seen the same figure walking down their hallway. Ah. It was unable to see its face. When he told his wife, she too said she had seen the same thing. Then, while browsing through several photos of their son, know. the man noticed that one of them showed the figure they had both seen. If you zoom in on the ghostly figure, you can see that it does indeed appear to have no face. I can see that. According to some commenters, it resembles the Napirabo, a type of ghost from Japanese folklore. Yeah, the scariest part about this is what they're saying about it, not what I'm seeing. These entities appear as ordinary human beings at first, but as one gets closer, their faces become completely smooth and featureless, devoid of eyes, nose and mouth. Often they're encountered at night in deserted places like lonely roads, forests or empty buildings. The Napirabo are known to delight in terrifying humans, usually by initially appearing normal and then slowly revealing their blank visage, Hell causing no. shock and fear. Despite their frightening appearance, they are generally considered more of a nuisance than a direct threat, as they don't harm their victims physically. So could this photo show evidence of a real-life Napirabo haunting? Take another Sounds look at this hard. chilling figure and let me know what you think down below. Ah, oh, no, that could be anything. That could be anything. Not sure about that, chat. Not sure about that one, chat. Now, in case